guys, I just wanted to uh, do a quick little chat with you. I decided, so I, I don't know how many of you know this or follow me, but I have another YouTube channel called Gigi the Waitress. And it's just like all like waitress type of content. I created this fun little character. And I love the channel. It was my first like real foray into YouTube. But I decided um, I'm not like posting consistently enough on there, but I would still love to keep that little character in that series going. So I decided to kind of like merge my two channels and make it kind of an ongoing series on this channel. Um, so if you're into kind of like restaurant content and like waitressy sort of stuff, I thought that would be um, a great way to still do that. But um, so I was feeling guilty. I was like posting like maybe once a month and it's just like, it was really hard to keep up and then keep this channel also going, especially because it's so limited to what I can post about because it's all restaurant sort of stuff. So. I'm babbling, but basically I'm going to start doing that series on this channel, Gigi the Waitress, and I'm gonna start it off by kind of releasing or re-releasing a few of my favorite videos that I've already done. So in case you didn't even know that existed or whatever, you can kind of get up to speed with some of my favorites and then I'll continue to create new content under this channel for Gigi the Waitress. I don't know if any of that made sense or if it was necessary, but here is the first video I wanted to share with you guys in this series. Thank you. Hi guys, Gigi here. We all know that sick days are really fun days to hang out with your friends, but they do require a certain rigmarole that's beyond an ordinary vacation day. Here is a sure-fired way to call out sick effectively. Step one, plant the seed. A month out, casually mention that someone close to you is sick. Like, oh, my brother came over last weekend and he has like raging diabetes. Or my aunt, who I'm close to because some people aren't close with their aunts, but I am close with this aunt, was diagnosed with acute malaria. Acute is a very important medical term to use because it shows seriousness. You'll probably have to say all of this unprompted, so then just add, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were asking about my very sick aunt. Step two, water that seedling. A couple of days before your intended sick day, start coughing a little and loudly. You want to draw attention. The goal is to have someone say, whoa, you coming down with something? To which you reply wearily, but with great resolve. Oh, I hope not. I just can't miss work Friday. We have the Anderson party. The Andersons! Extra credit, aka plant food, whatever the hell that is, is put some fake or real blood on your hands so that when you cough, you cough blood. Shocking. Blood cough is the Cadillac of sick day symptoms. Make sure everyone sees your bloody hand. Smear it on them if you have to. This is crunch time. We are two days out from sick day. Step three, harvest that tree. This is what you've been working on for a month. It all comes down to a phone call. Get your best sick voice on. There's a couple ways to play this. First, there's the martyr, fighting the urge to come into work, but you don't want to infect everyone. Hi, this is Gigi. Um, remember? I was talking about my malaria aunt and then I coughed blood into my hand. Yeah, I, I think I caught that. And I really wanted to wait on the Andersons tonight, but long dramatic pause here. I just don't want to get anyone else sick. No, no, I did. Two days ago when I was watering the seedling, I mean, working the lunch shift. Yes. Yes, I smeared it all over Greg. He was pissed. Yeah. Yeah, ask Greg. I smeared it on him. Another way to go is to take on another character and call on your behalf. 
Hi, this is Bob from the CDC. Does Gigi work at this establishment? Oh, oh, she's not there right now, is she? Oh, good. She can't come in today. You guys just dodged a very small virus-sized bullet. You'd all be dead if she was there. But she'll be back on Monday, so 24 hour thing. Bye. The third option, if you're phone shy, is to actually go into work and have them ask you to leave. I'm afraid you're gonna need a lot more fake blood for this one. There you have it. Now you're ready to enjoy your sick day. Are you ready to binge watch Rick and Morty? I guess that's a yes. <laughs> I'm sick.